What's going on everybody? Let me know if you can hear me okay. I have not done this in a little bit and I kind of forgot my settings. Also, fun fact, the camera doesn't screw on to the magic arm anymore. So I have it just crammed on there with poster tech. So that's fun. <laughs> Let me put some gloves on here and turn on my other light. Sorry, I normally it lets me set this up and then click go live, but it apparently just went live right off the bat. So not quite a hundred percent ready, but we'll get to it. Here we go. Let me know, can you hear me in the chat? Let me see if I can get All right, so here we go. Gonna have a buddy check, make sure the microphone is working. We're gonna be working on this little car for Gaslands. I'm going to probably paint this up and then try and sell it because it is a little car with dual facing machine guns. So not exactly super unique. I already have a couple of those. But I really want to know if you can paint these little cars and sell them for, you know, 30 bucks or something. So that's not a bad gig. If you can buy dollar Hot Wheels, paint them up nice and get 30 bucks or so for them on eBay, I'll take it. So I think I'm going to be using the Ghost Dry Brush 1. I think we're going to just start applying a lighter blue dry brush. This is basically blue, like a prime blue car, or painted blue car. And then I did like a blue oil wash on it, oh, I don't know, a couple months ago now. So it's definitely dry. But I think maybe just hit it with an overall dry brush. We're going to start with Electric Blue Game Air. Unless I have something else. No, I think this will be fine. Actually, I'm going to, because this game air might be a little thin, what's going on in Custom Arts? Can you let me know if you hear, hear me okay? I'm not 100% sure if it's working. <laughs> so hopefully it's working and we don't have to start over. But actually, so I could go with this here, but because it's an air paint, awesome, awesome. The mic is working. All right, it's go time. Uh, this is an air paint, so it's got a bit of a thinner in it, which makes it sometimes difficult to dry brush. I don't know what this one has in it, but this is a light blue also. So maybe we'll just go ahead with this Master Series paint color light blue. So I haven't used this one in a while, so I'm going to have to probably try and shake it up a bit. And I'm just going to use a piece of cardboard here as my palette. All right, so... We want that pretty thick. So yeah, this is just a normal Hot Wheel. I glued two guns on it. Hot Wheel, I glued two guns on it. That's a Gaslines car. Uh, want to shout out my buddy's channel. If you're into Gaslands and doing custom Hot Wheels, uh, check out Jackal Garage. And he's really into doing all kinds of custom customization to his Gasland cars and stripping the paint and all kinds of stuff so modifications um i think i'm just gonna do a directional dry brush down so i'm going here and then down and then pulling back off so the brush is only 
moving downward. I'm hoping maybe that gives us maybe a little bit of a weathered look. It's definitely getting that top edge. Whether or not that's good, I don't know. I'm kind of doing like a, uh, I don't know, like a cyberpunk anime hot rod blue, neon blue. I'm going to do this really cool windshield if it works. So this should be a fun one to play with. And I'm going to try to make it look pretty striking, but simple to do. And then hopefully we can sell it for like 30 bucks on eBay. And then that's always fun, getting a little money for your hobby. If you've checked out the new GW Giants, you know you're going to want a few extra hobby dollars <laughs> to afford those crazy prices. Now this one's, oh nice, doing some, is that like AutoCAD or 3D sculpting or like green stuff sculpting? I think here on the top I'm going to dry brush just from the front end to the back end. So like here, oh that's a little heavy, oh well, actually that don't look too bad. We'll go with it. That don't look too bad at all. I'm gonna just go the opposite direction on the bottom of the hood here, or the trunk, just to try to build up that a little bit. That's not too bad. I'll take it. Happy accident there. And we'll try to just achieve something on the front here. This inside panel might be worth doing a different color. Maybe we will. Uh, one of my wheels came loose, so we are always joke. If your wheels move, it's a toy, and if they don't, it's a model. So glue your Hot Wheels wheels and it's a model, but this one's come loose, so now it's a toy again. All right, so I think that actually is pretty good. Obviously, I didn't show the oil wash step, but I think that's getting a pretty cool little blue car. Um, now let's just jump over to this verdigris game color blue it's so so light you'll be able to see just on the palette here oh the car's blocking it <laughs> i mean it's kind of got a blue tint but look how light blue it is compared to the light blue from reaper you know so and i think this one we really want to make sure we get it into the brush and rub it off. Oh cool, like a traditional sculpting. That's a really good skill to have because then you can just even use it to customize and convert your own unique heroes and stuff. Can't go wrong with that. And I think this one we're gonna just stipple and try to create some interest. Like on the hood, you know, maybe some weather damage, basically. Maybe where sand or something has. Basically, I'm just randomly stabbing at the car, but the brush is going to do all the work for us. That's a pretty good start to a little little blue gas lines car. So I'm going to rinse off my dry brush. As always, when you wash your dry brush, it's not ideal to be used as a dry brush anytime soon because it's wet now. So we'll let that sit for a bit. I have more, obviously. If you're interested in the dry brushes, they'll be available on eBay soon after I finish shipping the Kickstarter. I think next, we'll just take a big beat up 
This is just kind of one of my more beat up, maybe a size two or so. I'm gonna go with Jet Exhaust Vallejo Metal Color. Oh, I sold my uh, Magic cards on eBay. <laughs> Got $185 for them. Cards I had from when I was a kid. So I was happy to get rid of those. But I don't know anything about Magic, really, since I haven't played it since I was maybe 12 or 13 or something. So we're going to go Jet Exhaust. And with gasoline cars, I don't get too crazy. Oh, you know, I probably should have painted the uh, wheels first because now I got to be a little more careful. But for the rubber parts, I mean, I don't have to be careful right now, but I'll have to be slightly careful when I do those parts. But we'll do those next and then we can come back and touch it up. And I probably could even use a bigger brush for this because you can really, these are just little hot wheels. You can gob the paint on pretty heavy and they look fine. It's like apocalyptic hot wheel game. No big deal. This game, Gaslands, is what we were all playing at the store before the shutdown. And then over the shutdown, we've played some Gloomhaven and some Warcry. So maybe when the store opens back up, I'll get some more Gaslands games in. Uh, I'm not sure if this right here is like a little bumper or if it should be the part of the car, this kind of stripe thing. I don't know much about cars. It uh, looks like we got some white showing too on the inside there. So we're going to want to right in here probably just put some maybe I don't know black or dark blue paint maybe in there should do it. Like I said I do plan on selling this car. So don't need perfection, I just need it to look pretty cool. Cool enough for somebody to have a nice blue car in Gaslands. Oh, uh... I didn't change the mic, but hopefully it's working. I think I might have just been mumbling a little bit, so hopefully that's better. The uh, I think there's definitely a good market for making terrain and painting it up and selling it if you're looking to make extra money with your hobby. That's something I always like exploring. You know, I think the under part of this car is going to have to be all silver. We're not going to be able to get it all because he's glued to this thing, but I'll just put some on now to start it. Gaslands is a pretty fun game. Uh, one thing, it's really just kind of a what do you call it, beer and pretzels, kind of funsy game because nobody wants to put bases on their cars because they, for some reason they think their cars look real if there's no base on them, which of course is not true. But uh, because there's no bases on the cars, measuring your movement is a little, a little more generous. So it's, I don't know. But it is fun. It's definitely a high... Fun factor game, but don't get stressed out over the rules.
Yeah, I got a buddy selling a 3D printer, but I don't really have any room for it right now in my little apartment. Maybe if I had all my Kickstarter shipped out, I would have room to play around with the 3D printer. But with all the packing materials of having a Kickstarter going, there's no room for really anything. All right, we're just going to try to block in the guns here with some of the silver. Keeping it simple, just kind of picking out all the metals is the same. And we can weather them. I don't know if that's, it's kind of hard to see me getting underneath the gun there. Trying to avoid getting it on the car. If I do, though, I can just turn that into some weathering later on so it's not like a scratch or a bullet hole or something, maybe. Not too bad. I haven't actually done one of these streams in a, quite a while because I just haven't had my camera set up in this position. So, also, I haven't been getting as much painting done. At the beginning of the kind of lockdown or whatever, I was painting this painting machine, and now, lately, I've just been a little harder to get motivated. Oh, I keep going off camera. See, I'm not even used to painting on camera quite as much as I was. Oh, I missed. I'm going to try to clean it off with a wet paintbrush here. Kind of try and scrub it away. And that worked pretty good. But yeah, I haven't been getting, haven't been getting quite as much painting done as I should be. But it's one of those things when I'm working all day on shipping the Kickstarter, you just don't want to sit more hours and paint. It's like you're done tired of sitting for the day. I'm not somebody that likes sitting all day. But then it's usually two o'clock in the morning when I'm done working on the Kickstarter and since I don't feel like sitting, I end up just laying down. There we go. I think we got some... Oh, maybe, uh... I think these little things maybe could be metal. Uh, we'll go ahead and just get some paint under here. Normally I wouldn't even bother putting any paint under the car. But this is more for an eBay buyer. They might appreciate having the car just at least base coated metallic. Yeah, I have no knowledge of like scanning miniatures or 3D printers or really anything like that, but it does seem really fun. Especially if you're already doing some sculpting and stuff. So I think, obviously I left some of this kind of messed up on the bottom. So I must have been planning to do like a two-tone car 
So I think I'll continue that plan, even though I don't remember planning that. So maybe like a dark blue. We'll go with this ultramarine blue from Game Color. If I don't like it, oh well, we'll just paint over it. But this will give us, just using the same brush, give us something to use to clean up some of those spots. Like in the wheel wells. to obviously add something to it to make it a little more interesting than that but it's a start I'm putting the paint on probably quite a bit thicker not even probably quite a bit thicker than I normally would but that's mainly because this is a hot wheel. So whatever, it can be, I'm trying to get that thick one coat coverage. Plus the little cars get banged around a little bit. So I don't think it's terrible to have that extra paint. I'm not trying to win like a crystal brush with my little gas lines car. I'm trying to make thirty dollars. A lot of people don't like to sell the models they paint, but I find it really, really fun. I get quite a little thrill out of selling things I painted. I feel like it makes me feel like a professional artist or whatever, which I enjoy. Have you checked out the new Giants coming out? The big, big Giants? They look pretty, pretty crazy from Games Workshop. Something I might pick up in the future. Just one of those bad boys, but not racing into it by any means. I'm going to paint that as just like a little bumper, whether or not that's accurate, I don't know. And we kind of lost our bottom lip here. Let's see if we can't bring that back. There we go. And it looks like we got some little headlight kind of things. There we go. All right, looking good. I think once he gets his windshield done, it's gonna look pretty nice. Um, actually, I'll base coat the windshield right now. I'm gonna base coat it in a murderous magenta. And we'll probably lighten it up from there, but I'm kind of going for that, I don't know, 80s cyberpunk kind of feel. Because it looks like it's probably going to need more than one coat. Maybe I should have hit it with like a base coat of something first. Because that murderous magenta does not cover that blue very well. I 
and it looks like we're gonna have to paint the window in there which is not ideal I prefer I didn't even see the window in there but I think this one will just try to gob in the paint try to suggest it in there but hopefully not have to come back to it cool All right. so now he's got that my sweet Miami windshield we'll put another coat on yeah it's gonna struggle to cover that blue but maybe it's fine even with the that it's gonna add just a little bit of variation in the windshield so we'll see all right I think now we'll go ahead and paint the tires um, let's try this one some kind of dark green not quite dark enough I'd say but we'll see if we can make it work Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to redo the little rims, but that's okay. Also, this tire moving doesn't necessarily help. All right, so that's a dark green, kind of green-gray tire, which is fine. Sometimes I feel when you're painting something to maybe sell or just for fun, it's kind of nice to just keep the paintbrush moving. Don't overthink the colors too much. Just rely on whatever instinct you have for color and just keep going, see what happens. So we'll just knock out these tires. This probably won't be a crazy long stream tonight because I do want to wake up early and print out some more shipping labels because I'm going to the post office tomorrow and I got a whole bunch of packages ready to ship for the Kickstarter but I've been working on it for about the last 12 hours so tonight I decided to take a little break and paint a little car. All right, that's cool. I'm gonna take some sort of dark brown contrast paint. Let's go with Wildwood, and we're just going to dump it into the interior basically. So we're going to go contrast Wildwood. And try and just darken up. our interior maybe it's some kind of I don't know some kind of leather or something 
I don't think it's necessary to waste too much time on the interior of your gas lines car. Of course, this one just so happens to be a convertible, but... We're still just trying to get it done. Sorry, I'm not used to doing it on the camera lately. The reason I went with a dark brown is I'm hoping that any little mistakes in there will just be covered up and we don't have to worry about them. This car would actually look really nice with almost like that ivory kind of cream leather interior. That'd look cool. And kind of if you look down in there, I could see some areas that are very, very hard to reach, but oh well. I guess we're not paint. Oh, there we go. Got the little interior done. Just make it dark and out of the way. Uh, I see a little bit of insight here that can probably use some of the dark blue. Maybe here. All right. Close this $100 GW paint. <laughs> All right, now, since we still got our metallic and our little water cup here, we can go back and re-hit the little rims. Of course, I made a mistake immediately. Trying to go fast doesn't really mean accuracy many times, as I'm demonstrating with my constant mistakes. But we have the power of this being an apocalyptic vehicle. So it can be dirty. It's forgiving. All right. I don't know if those parts should be metal, like the little lines there and down the side and stuff. I think the windshield is going to look good metal. But I think with that magenta, I might have to paint over it multiple times. There we go, just kind of block out the windshield here. And the little hard part. Getting it back here behind the gun. All right. And I see some part on the interior I didn't get.
Once again, if you like Gaslands, check out the channel Jackal Garage. It's a buddy of mine. He just started. So if you like Hot Wheels and customization, go over there and subscribe. He does streaming and all kinds of cool Hot Wheels things. Probably be doing some Gasland terrain videos and stuff as well in the future. So lots of cool stuff. One thing that makes Gaslands a pretty cool game too is if you go to like a convention or something, you barely have to bring anything to play. So it's just a book. Probably two cars. I think I got myself about five or six cars painted. So at this point, I probably don't need any more cars. I mean, of course, you could always have more, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't want more. I got too many. This moving wheel is a little bit of a pain, <laughs> that's for sure. I'm going to take a little bit of this murderous magenta and just a little bit of, let's say, white primer. White primer. Murderous magenta. Let's mix them up. Maybe this will be a little more opaque for our windshield here. gives our windshield somewhat of a cool little highlight. There we go. Maybe let's go a little more white primer in there. See if we can't maybe block in a little bit of interest into the window. Kind of a kind of a wet blend, but I'm not really trying to blend it. Just trying to make the top a little lighter. And I actually might go back in and hit it with like a neon pink color I have, like a fluorescent pink. See if that does anything. So that could be cool. All right, I think next we're going to go Agrax Gloss. I'm going to switch over to like a little beat up makeup brush. This is so 
caked on with paint, but it's usually a pretty good wash brush. I'll hit the guns. Tell you, if you want your metallics to look interesting in one step, the secret weapon is Agrax Gloss. It shades it like Null Oil, but it leaves that brown, warm tone in there. Gives it almost like that oily look or like it's been used. Maybe there's grease, dirt, all kinds of anything brown that maybe could accumulate on the metallics. I haven't actually done it in a while, but uh, I think we'll actually do a heat effect on the front of the gun. I think that will look good with the windshield. So we'll go ahead and do that too. Hopefully the gloss, Agrax gloss, pools up anywhere to hide any blemishes. We'll go ahead and fill in the grill. And we'll fill in. Actually, we'll do the whole tire. Hopefully they're dry. Tire and rim. It's okay to let the wash over spill a little bit because it kind of adds like a black line effect or a shadow effect on your car. Oh, and here's that darn wheel that came unglued. Looking good. Trying to cover the bottom of the wheels too. This is just, I want to do this for my own cars, but just in case the eBay buyer appreciates it. I'm going to actually take a little bit of this Agrax gloss and just dump it down these lines too. It's going to just pop a little bit more of that definition. And I think I might go ahead and pull some of it up in there. Might be a little heavy. We can use our brush to pull it back a little bit. A little bit of streaking. Maybe put some in there. Maybe even hit this. Oh yeah, I like that. I think I'm gonna trace this hood. And so far so good. So we're going to actually trace the doors. This is kind of like black lining. Sloppier, but a little bit more weathered look. So part of this is because, yes, we want it to be like this cool Miami, Miami nightlife sports car, but it still exists in the gas lands where it's in constant war. Oh, 
lot of times too, anytime behind the wheels, you can. Put some extra just to maybe simulate that these wheels have kicked up some crap. Yeah, looking good. Cool, cool, cool. I think we'll even put some down here in the windshield wiper area of our windshield. All right, so already he pops quite a bit. You can see him cruising. Those washes probably gonna take a little bit to dry. Let's go ahead and try uh, acid pink. See what happens. We're just gonna use the same crappy brush, but it is soft, so that's nice. See if we can't fluorescent this up a little bit. Um, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I got a little something out of it. That's fine. While it, let's see, what is this? Burnt, pale burnt metal. We're gonna do a pale burnt metal. Oh, like a, like an eagle or something on the hood. <laughs> um, not really. I haven't thought about it. I think it could be a cool idea. These, this little car in particular, I'm planning on just, I'm just gonna sell it on eBay. See if there's like a market for painting these little cars and selling them on eBay. Just putting a little bit of this pale burnt metal, just touching it to things to highlight. Yeah, something like if I, these would be good to practice freehand, like you could practice your, uh, like an, an eagle or something on the back. That could be cool. I don't really uh, do freehands very often. Like I got this big uh, bull character guy, the Minotaur. I've been trying to do a white bull. He's still quite a bit of a work in progress. He has like some kind of sculpted in tattoos, but like I'm not gonna attempt to do any of my own tattoos or nothing on him. But he's coming out pretty cool. I'm trying to do like an albino white ball. He's all right. I got him a little burnt out on him because I was trying to paint him to a real nice high standard and I really should just get him, get him finished and play with him. Um, I think I think our little car is almost done. I think I'm gonna add another maybe a wash to the bottom. Like a Drakenoff Nightshade. GW Drakenoff Nightshade. We're gonna put that on the bottom of the car since we kind of did them two tone. That's kind of a blue bottom. And some of that blue is just still pretty just solid blue so we'll just dirty it up with this 
and apparently immediately just put it right on the wheel but that should be okay I'm sure some of these washes are not dry oh well we're just trying to get a cool little car painted I'm gonna put it up on eBay see if we can get turn our $1 car into like a $30 car or a you know $30 deposit into my PayPal <laughs> and then if you do it 10 times you could buy yourself a brand new Games Workshop Giant I don't love this windshield. It's a little chunky. Usually I can do them a little better. Let's see if we can't mix maybe some white primer in with that fluorescent pink. See what we can get. Mm, that might be too white, but we're going to put it on anyway and see what happens. Oh, this brush is really <laughs> funky. Oh, that's not so bad. Just put a little bit. A little bit of a interesting swoop of lighter pink there. If my hand works, I should be able to cut the little thing back in here. Okay. There we go. Cool. I'm going to take some silver. Just right off the little top there and this is just to brighten up the barrels of the guns not because I need them I just want them bright because I'm gonna do a heat effect on them so I might as well just lighten them up now that way when I put the washes on it'll be more visible And we could use this brighter silver to maybe highlight there. Maybe put a few little touch highlights on the tops here. I don't think I really want to highlight the rest of it. do like some swipes oh let me know if you can hear me okay too uh, I don't know if I'm having mic troubles but or if I'm just talking too low I, maybe I'm not used to talking loud enough since I haven't streamed in a while I got some little squiggies I finished up Okay, good. Awesome. Let's see. All right, yeah, I think... Uh, so I think we could add a little bit more light blue, maybe like a sponge, to get some more maybe chipping or weathering on the light blue 
think we just leave the dark blue dark and just let it just let it be dark I think that's fine plus add some uh, pigments on it and then I'll put it kind of on the bottom of the car I'm happy enough with the interior what the hell I'll do the steering wheels metallic here like it's a metal There we go, he's got a little metal steering wheel now. And I think he's pretty good. I think for the first wash on the barrels of the gun, I'm gonna go with good old fashioned secret weapon orange. Yeah, I was thinking just like, you know, some post-apocalyptic Miami Vice or something. <laughs> some kind of Miami nightlife vibe or... Ooh, wow, that was hard to open this orange. I guess I haven't used it in a while. It has been... Look at all that crustiness sealing it shut. I right, probably just need a little bit. We'll seal it back in its tomb forever. Alright. So I'm just going to do basically most of the barrel. What the heck? It just washed away. barely did anything. Complete waste of time. <laughs> uh, next we'll hit it with our good friend Caribou Crimson. Uh, I don't actually use the retarder mediums all really ever. I have quite a bit of them but I don't know, I wasn't, I like using the wet palette for the increased time more than using a retarder medium. I haven't really messed with it too much. All right, we're gonna have to let that little yellow dry or this is gonna completely bl just blow it right out since it basically, that orange wash did nothing. It literally settled around the barrel. And then for some reason, I guess it just all Slip to the bottom, so that's a bummer. Um, but that's okay. The yellow part's not as important. The oh, yeah, let's do a sponge. So let's go back to the verdigris game color, which I used a little bit. Yeah, it should reduce drying time and increase your working time. So I think you would... I think you're just going to want to add a little bit, though, just to maybe get, you know, just that little extra boost, a little extra time. Because I think if you add too much, it can affect even the paint drying at all, like the affect the way it dries. All right, let's go... Vertigree game color. I love this color. It's such a crazy light blue. Piece of sponge. Let's see if we can find a pattern we like coming from the sponge. Uh, yeah, why not? Put it around the door. Put it on top of these fins. Maybe where a little bit of the extra sunlight hit it.
think it should definitely have some here on the front end. Almost just maybe because dirt and stuff that other vehicles kicked up that he drove through. Might be a little bright, but it's probably fine. Put some down the back here. Maybe some on the hood. Basically, this is no real rhyme or reason. It's not like a scale modeler where they're trying to, you know, where the crew members step. This is more of just adding interest, <coughs> just as a generic term, generic interest to the vehicle. Now it has a little more highlights popping. Yeah, I think uh, I think if you want a synthwave sunrise, you're gonna have to hit up Dana Howell. <laughs> I think if you just probably add, well, so one thing I like to do quite a bit is when I use my, well, not this one, when I use my uh, wet palette. I mix a little bit of this and a little bit of distilled water in a, one of these little caps and I use that as like my water to keep my brush damp or when I want to thin out the paint a little bit on the palette. So I'm constantly mixing in just like a little bit of that matte medium into the paint. So I think you could uh, take like one drop or so the retarder medium into a water bottle cap like this mix it with like some distilled water and then just constantly use that to thin your paints and that should probably give you uh give you quite a bit of extra working time i would think and i think that's probably ready for the red wash And try to go about halfway from the yellow. Cool. I don't know if you could see that on camera. Yeah, I watched some of her videos. They're pretty good. I haven't watched many of them lately because she went back to like kind of starting from very basic techniques instead of just exploring how she likes to paint, it seems like. So that doesn't really interest me. I can't watch like the basic tutorials anymore. Oh yeah, uh, so Golden is a, you know, artist grade brand. I have two. Let me see if I can get them. I have this one, which you can tell I basically never used. I think I used it once and I didn't care for it, but I think I honestly just put, I think I put too much in and I was using a palette like this and I, like I think it was like peeling up as I was trying to paint. Like it was weird. It didn't react well and I just put it aside, never touched it again. But I think I honestly put too much. And I also have Badgers. Uh, drawing Retarder. Minotaur Badger Drawing. And uh, I don't remember if I've used this one. I think I might've used it in the airbrush before, but I think I actually had like two bottles, of, maybe three bottles of that when I bought all the Minotaur paints. I think all those came with it. 
So maybe I should start trying to use those more, but I've been happy enough with the with the wet palette, so could maybe consider putting a few drops of maybe the retarder into like the water of the wet palette. I don't know if that would help anything, but uh, I'm going to use pure black from AK Interactive just because it's black paint that I have right next to me. Um, I think I did I throw away my little sponge. Oh, no, it's right here. You don't have to do this, but honestly, I like to try to darken up the ends of the barrels. And I specifically like, you know, like maybe carbon or something is accumulated on there. But I specifically like to do it before I put my blue wash on. So it looks like maybe it's coated in there. I don't know. I did on my ad mech a while back and I thought it looked pretty cool. I think our little car is looking pretty good. I don't think he's... All right, I'll just hang out here and wait, wait for you to return. Uh, I think I might do the bright lights. So we're going to go with FW White. Can we see that? I think we can. Pure white paint. And this is always fun. You get to decide which wacky style you want to do. I might, sometimes I do dots, sometimes I do slashes. Hmm. I could do slashes. Oh, now that I said I want to do slashes, I can't figure out how I want to do them. <laughs> Let's give it a second here and think. All right, let's do a little line. And then a zigzag. And then a line. So a little line, and a zigzag, and then a line. Now I'll do a couple dots over here. And maybe a few More slashes on the window. All right. Well, maybe another dot. Just some fun little decorative things on the window. Some little slash lines. Nothing crazy. Kind of hard to show up. I don't think the white balance is quite showing them, but they just give it like a little something is happening on the window, which is fun. That was with the double zero. Ghost Rush, always a winner. <laughs> And now I think we'll go Drakenoth Nightshade to finish off 
the gun barrels. Just right on the ends, covering up my black. That black stippled on plus the blue should give it a good kind of char. Now this little car has been glued onto this plastic cup for probably all year because I started this I'm pretty sure before the pandemic and that seems like it's lasted forever so I think we're gonna pop them off maybe maybe not all right we popped them off let's see how he looks he's looking good that looks like he's ready to do battle I think he is ready for war uh, I'm just gonna get a crappy brush. Let's. Oh, actually, we got quite a bit of glue there. I'm gonna clip that off with my designated bad clippers that I don't use on models. That's probably gonna go flying. Oh, I got lucky, didn't it? <laughs> got some there. Oh yeah, he looks like he is ready to tear up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This, I need to get like a crappy brush here. Let me just grab, oh yeah. Oh, that one's too crappy. I have so many brushes, but when you want a crappy one, it's hard to figure out which crappy one you want to use. Oh. oh, this one's fine. Just this crap brush. Just if my oh my metallic paint is still wet, so let's see if we can't just scrub it into the bottom here. The only reason I'm painting the bottom is because I'm planning on selling this on eBay. And I think the buyer just might appreciate if the bottom of the car's metallic. Assuming somebody buys it, of course. Let's make sure, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna dump some super glue into that wheel that started moving. See if we can't. Basically, you're just gonna take your super glue and just blast it in there. A nice big glob. And hopefully it never moves again. Since we're doing it on the that wheel, we might as well hit the other wheels just for the little extra. That one looks pretty well done. Got one little part here, I'm like with some glue. Let's get those clippers. But yeah, so this is kind of an experiment. Oh. Uh, Actually, I think that's fine. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably fine. Kind of an experiment to see if you can paint a little Hot Wheel car and sell it for like 30 bucks on eBay. It was a Gaslands car. Oh, totally forgot I need to keep this. <laughs> Gotta keep that wheel. You know what? Oh, where is it? Instead of waiting for it to dry, let's bust out the worst smelling thing in the game. 
this stuff is actual poison but man does it dry super glue I don't ever spray it I always just drop it on like that so those are probably completely dry now at that assuming that kicker hit it What do you think? Oh, I think that's pretty cool looking. It's a little double machine gun car. I will matte coat it actually. I don't know. Yeah, I'll matte coat it. We gotta get a matte coat before we. You know what? Just in case, I'm gonna take a little bit of our blue. fill in that little area where we got that chunky glue off of it. Oh yeah, that would be another cool little freehand, just like a little generic like palm tree, like a stencil, like a palm tree stencil look. Yeah, once it's matte coated, it'll. Have its kind of un unified finish. I think he's ready to roll. Double machine guns, that's two D6 shots. Or two shots. Forward facing. My apartment smells like zip kicker now, even though I didn't spray it into the air. It still stinks. <laughs> I think my pink windshield came out okay. I think it maybe would have been better if I really got a nice pure pink coat first and then added the shadow in. But I think he's all right. I thought the pink windshield would look good with just popping with the little blue car. I have a few other little cars. I'm not really in any hurry to get them painted. This one was just something that was staring at me that I thought would be easy to finish. I got this big station wagon. Got the guy up there with the double machine guns, Ram. But yeah, this is a cool, uh, Little station wagon car I got that I started pre pandemic. And I got my little boombox toaster oven car. Little 40k bit on it. Didn't get very far on this one, mostly just primed and messed around on some of the metallics. I got a little red car that it's got some missiles got a really bad looking red paint job and it's covered in dust man it's been so long <laughs> with this lockdown even the little car is covered in dust on my desk this will be one i'll probably try to sell don't really care much about a little rocket car and then my favorite one the heavy truck i put some old empire shields on the wheels it's like a food truck you know, like a ram on the front. That's really about it. This one I used, can't remember what the team name was called, but it basically drives around and drops out little, uh, little turrets and mine, landmines and oil slicks and stuff. It's like a, I use it, or I use it for ramming. Got the big ram on it because the heavy vehicles are a little slower but they do more damage when they ram vehicles lighter than them like basically every car so a heavy truck can really smash things in the game pretty cool and those are all my cars that are in work in progress right now 
I got these eels that I've been working on. I think, I feel like I was talking about these back pre-pandemic. I finally got some paint on them, but I've been pretty lazy on getting anything done on these eels. I like how they're coming out, but I've been kind of worried to continue on from here, like I'm gonna mess it up or something. I don't know which colors I wanna use for all the straps and stuff. And I'm not really looking forward to building and painting the riders. Just because I'm, I don't know. I built up my trolls. I don't know if I'm gonna worry about getting these painted yet. Oh, I also picked up a uh, frost giant from Mantic. So I decided maybe I'll paint up that frost giant from Mantic. And if I like it, like enjoy the process of painting it and whatnot, have a good time, maybe I will end up buying one of the GW Giants and starting a little army there. I am excited to see the, uh, the uh, Sons of Bayamont like codex reviews for all the people that get preview copies. I think it's going to be fun to see all the crazy stuff that they put in that book. It could be such a mess, but it could be fun. Of course, you never know. <laughs> I feel like mess is more likely, but we'll see. Yeah, I think that's about it for the stream tonight. Uh, trying to clear up some work in progress. Got these little guys almost done basically trying to clear up some work in progress stuff so i can paint 20 eldar guardians i think maybe if i clear a lot of stuff off my little desk here i'll be motivated to actually knock out 20 guardians and then that'll give me 20 guardians and 10 dire avengers so at least i'll have somewhat of a troop selection for whenever the eldar get their codex And then maybe after those 20 guardians, we can maybe do that giant or something. So that's basically it. I don't know. I might put some dry pigments on the bottom here and on the wheels. But I'm going to let him completely dry with the super glue and stuff before I do that. So, all right, Zach, I think that is about all I got tonight. It's 3.07 in the morning. I think I'm going to try and get to bed by 4. So that means I need to start winding down. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. Appreciate it. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you're watching this in the future. And I will see you next time. I have no, you know, set in stone plans of when I'm going to keep getting this going. But uh, I wouldn't mind trying to do it a little more because it's fun to get some stuff painted. And I honestly just haven't been painting nearly as much as I should be. So it's been uh, good times. Thanks, Zach. Thank you so much. Adios.